Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta Crown of the Magister's Palace of Ice and my second run at the finale. A bit loud, but that's fine. How are we doing? Well, we've just done our third fight and now we want to recuperate as much as possible before taking on the big horrible man back in the main hub section. But before we do that, Somewhere around here, I should probably have just checked the map, there is a chest. So Orkscar is going to fly over because they still have flight. Four healing potions, a potion of speed, a scroll of revivify, and a potion of invisibility. As for the rest of everything, it's basically just... Um, The, the soul stones of demons, these things. Demonic essences. And then somewhere around here will be our exit. I can't seem to find it. Where is it? You're not going to tell me. Can't talk to the ghost. Should it be right there? Am I going mad? The game is bugged and I can't get out of this place. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh no, we have to destroy the pillar. We have to destroy the pillar, of course. That's what it is. But in case it wasn't very clear, I put the game down and then picked it back up again between one thing and the next thing. Okay, is that... Yes, that is now destroyed. Now we can leave. But I think now is the opportunity for us to take a rest in between. Because we still have spirit guardians for some amount of time. Six minutes. We still have flight for two minutes. We are missing out on bardic inspirations that we... We still have one each, so... Actually, short resting for that doesn't seem as essential. And we've still got a bunch of temporary HP here. So perhaps instead, we just find our great big potions. You just picked up a bunch more of them, didn't you? Ten. Split that. Send four over here. And then if you could drink that. And then do that again once more. Alright, 115 plus 11 out of 147 is not terrible here. We could probably do with consuming one as well. And one more. Okay, 104 plus 64, 89 plus 64, 115 plus 11, and 112 HP. So I think we're good for HP. We still have two minutes of flight. We still have a good amount of time for Spirit Guardians. So maybe we don't take a short rest. We've still got plenty of spell slots. Alright then. Let's see what we can do. Because we want to get over here to that section. But of course. <laughs> what? He's back. Did you really think you could simply get rid of me? Good rolls. You're not fully regenerated. We're wearing you down. Optimistic, are you? Let's see how many times you can survive me. Same roll again. We need to get the other pillars. He clearly doesn't like it. <laughs> Someone here thinks they're smart. 
Kill them! Okay. Right, so right now there's a Hezru over here and then Incubus, Succubus and Sesroth. The Incubus and the Succubus, if they're the same as the ones we fought in the previous room, are not that deadly to us. So I think the play is just tank Sesroth as much as we can. And so to do that, we are currently not concentrating on something. What do we have in our little bag of tricks? How about an air elemental to help us out? Right, we are concentrating on the conjure air elemental spell. So, I'm actually going to move... Am I going to move out of the way of possible area of effect stuff? The only risk is that we're then not inside of the spirit guardians any longer. Uh, spend die to save. Spend die to save. We are no longer concentrating on Spirit Guardians. But Evelyn was not caught in that attack, which was part of the reason for moving her away. Right. Orkscar. Just slamming into this guy. Looking for smites, obviously. Oh, come on now. They teleport away, which is just annoying. Alright, well... You tanked some hits at the very, very least. I think honestly we go high level spirit guardians again and we only get five tiles of movement which sucks I'll put myself here behind this I don't love it cone of cold counter that thanks Maestro is up. We are currently concentrating on the fly spell. So, we could cast Chain Lightning. Prioritizing... Uh, if we prioritize this guy... Looks like that's the best result for us. Alright, Incubus is resistant, Succubus is resistant, and Sesroth took 21. Well, it's something. And we have failed Stench. We are poisoned by Stench. Which is no fun. Yeah, those things are not my concern, really. Right, we do still have Bardic Inspiration. So we could go for a spell attack roll. Um, 
Are we concentrating? We're not. Oh, why did I think you could cast Arcane Sword? I guess it's only the Bard. Maybe the Wizard. Alright, we'll fix that later. I still didn't cast Hero's Feast because I'm stupid. Okay. Let's... Cast this... As... Another distracting force we'll put ourselves behind here good nice and low oh great yeah what I wanted right we are just going to take our flying speed and hit this guy twice or not Oh my god! Really? And that guy is now just being a real dick. Shield. <laughs> okay. Really, I want to be more up there than down here. Because if we can take out Sesroth, I believe we take out all the minion-y things. We are immune to poison by stench condition. Good. Alright. I'm gonna shocking grasp. Actually, am I? No, I'm just gonna risk the attack of opportunity. And then. There's a great question. Everyone's in a terrible spot for anything really big and interesting. What scrolls could we use? We have two of these. Should definitely use those at some point. We're already concentrating on fly. We can't cast Guiding Bolt. I missed that up as well. Acid arrow, blade barrier. That does not hit our guys, I think. Oh, Bella. Why would you be in the way when you weren't a different color? I'm so mad about it. At least Sesroth took 37 damage. Right. Evelyn. Not doing much back here. Can't even see the big bad. Spell slots looking pretty good. We want to get one of these in a fourth level spot for plus one die. And then cast it just as high up over here as I can. Alright, hit that there for a second. 
and then if they come down closer to us we can do some more only two of us in that area of effect Stella really needs some more HP urgently This distraction is working. Right. Can we still fly? Yes. Right, it's a choice between laying on hands Bella or attacking. Sasroth is up next though, which is a problem. I think we'd have to lay on hands now or risk Bella going down Maestro could get her back, straight back up but she's concentrating on spirit guardians if she goes down that spirit guardians goes down so lay on hands here for like 70 and come up here and just kind of be in this guy's face you know Where did he go? Bella loses concentration on spirit guardians again. So sick of that. All right, then. Gonna do nothing for us. I think the full cover was not helping. Um, spell casting cone of cold counter. We failed. They're gonna get that one off. Bella down to seven HP. Maestro no temporary HP. That's both of those now spent. We are not chipping Sesroth down as fast as I would like. I think we can see him or not. This is not doing me a lot of good where it is. The layout of this room sucks, doesn't it? We could see them. Great work. Love to see it. Right. Please. Oh, we can't even make that dash over. That's grim. It's too far away for us to even fly. We could cast Sunbeam. But I worry that I'd rather... What's Sunburst? Brilliant sunlight blazes in a sphere with a 12 cell radius. Each creature that fills a con save throw takes radiant damage, is blinded for one minute. Any darkness is dispelled. 12d6, blinded, removes darkness. This is 68 that can go multiple times. If I fly... to 
here. Ten whole radiant damage. We're concentrating on that now. More awkward teleporting. Nice try. Bella, you do not have a lot of HP right now. Also don't have a great deal to do. Our damage options, not high. on a 19 there. I'm just going to try and keep us spread out awkwardly. We are still concentrating on fly. I know we're not going to get multiple people in it, but there's only one target I really care about getting in it. Need to move over slightly because of Bella in the background. Do do do. do. How did you get Bella? Don't understand, but 19 lightning damage is something. It's not going as well as our first round did though, is it? Evelyn, he's right in front of you. Can't hit the other one, so we'll hit this one. Sure. What about like a third level guiding bolt? Don't miss. Fourteen radiant damage. I swear the die rolls are just trash. But now Orkscar should have advantage on his next attack there. I think I will take two melee attacks rather than casting Sunbeam. Uh, pass. Like 40 damage. Another 40 damage. 45. Just need a lot more of that. Much less of this, please. Okay, Bella, you're having a grand old time, aren't ya? Grease of pseudo life. You have seven plus fifteen. I think this is time to do this. 
So you're going to have 80 temporary HP. If I jump down here, I'm not going to be able to get back up, which could be a problem. Knowing that we see Cone of Cold and can't do anything about it, the Fire Elemental is down. I'm going to see if... Uh, we could probably do... Do one of those. Twenty-five lightning damage is something. Classic. Evelyn is doing a terrible job of just being in this fight, aren't they? One D eight plus three plus three D six fire is not ideal. Another nine damage. He's down past half now, which is something. tank no I regret everything uh, feather fall sure I regret not casting shield a lot okay so we now cannot get up here to attack but we do still have sunbeams so you know, swings and roundabouts, right? Seventeen radiant damage. And there's no cover here, which is a shame. I'm just gonna stand here awkwardly. Maestro takes a hit. Miss Evelyn. And where are you going to stand? Right there. Right. Must have something I can do here. I can't apply a flying potion to somebody else. You can only do that with healing. I'd cast Hilarity if they weren't all the way up here. Up there, I can't do anything with that opportunity. Shatter is not going to have the range I need for anything. Eight damage is something. Oh, that's a better place for them to be, perhaps. Maestro is up. Where's Evelyn? Evelyn's there. We have another one of you. Change to legendary resistance took zero damage from that. I hate you. Oh, 
we'll shield that one, even though we're about to take our turn. No, no, we just took our turn, so we should have that shield for the whole uh, round, which is great. I can't close this gap to hit them with a melee attack. We have one charge. Sleet Storm, Cold Shield, Ice Storm, 2d8 bludgeoning and 4d8 cold damage. This area slows down those that walk through it duration one round. This doesn't do damage. This does 8d8 cold damage. I think they're going to resist the cold damage. But still, it's something to do, right? Seven. Seven cold damage. I can't move this where I would like it. I'm gonna hang out there for a minute. Good miss. Good miss. Can we get down to melee attack? We absolutely can. And we will. Of course, we miss again. Oh, there's a crit. That's what we needed. Our last level 4 spell slot. But now I have hope. Bella takes 37 damage. And this guy misses again. We can see them. They have full cover, which is an additional 5 AC, which is unideal. What else could we do? What plays can we make? Not a lot of them. Give us half potion of heroism. It'd be plus one d4 to our attack rolls. But we're almost done with this fight anyway. Cone of cold was trash. Shatter is probably too far away, he says. Five thunder damage. Legendary reaction, then demonic breath. We tough it out, which is great news. Alright, what's our best hope for doing a bunch of damage right now? I'm going to move so that I don't accidentally... Hit Maestro. Uh, sorry. Orc Scar. Yeah, saw that coming. Lightning Bolts. Twelve lightning damage is trash. They actually hit us with a lightning bolt, which is never fun. I just wish I could know how much HP he has left. You know? The not knowing that really sucks. Uh, 
Um, don't have a scroll of magic missile. Fire damage is going to be no good. Don't really want to make him make a deck save. Fireballs, no good. We're all the way over here. Fine, every little helps. This is, as ever, too far away to be helpful. Now, we do still have Sunbeam. Uh, shield. No. 13 slashing damage. I can handle it. Sunbeam up here. Oh, he's so close. Surely. Great in that one. One more attack. Okay, that's real, real bad. I didn't realize Spell Shield would go down with him as well. Right, do we have any way of dealing like 10 damage? Okay. We're no longer dying. We are unconscious. We can regroup. Probably time for a short rest. But that is four encounters we've got through without a short rest. Which is pretty good going. And we've not used Hero's Feast yet. So... I'm absolutely going to abuse the extra d10 of healing. Uh, you can arcane recovery. What do we want? I kind of think this is good for shield. Though this would be better for counter spell, wouldn't it? For that, perhaps. And so then we're going to go attune. This we've used our attack with. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to equip the Staff of Healing. Close that. Then I'm going to find that Staff of Healing. And we are going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. And we're going to cast Mass Cure Wounds again. Last charge spent and 10 is rolled on d20. Staff of healing is preserved. That's an interesting mechanic I hadn't ever really considered. Right, then we're going to take another short rest.
Then we're going to go roll, 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 attune. Remove this. Yes. Put this back in. Make sure that gets re-equipped. Um, you need to give that to, I think, you. And one of you had a scroll that needed to be moved over as well. What? what uh, guiding bolt. Okay, then, short rest again. Roll, roll, roll with your extra d10s. Then, short rest again. Roll, roll, roll with your extra d10s. Last one, perhaps? Alright, three of us are capped out. Take one more. Alright, this will probably suffice. Then we'll grab the elemental essence just in case there is anything strange or interesting to be collected. Acid, primordial lava stone, magnesium. Then I don't think on this map there are any containers for us to benefit from. We've been there, we've been here. Broken major gate. We have these two left to go. That was where Sesroth died. I don't know if I can climb up there. I can. Do I want to? Great question. Can I quick save right now? I can. Because last time we came up this high, we got banished, which was like a real dick move because of the game. And so I don't want to accidentally get banished up here or something stupid. Okay, it's just 10 more of that stuff. Well, this is the furthest we've made it. We still have several high-level spell slots over here. We've got most of our high-level spell slots, actually. We've been concentrating on fly so much. So let's drop a proper save. So this is fight four done. Join me next time. We'll go into these other two chambers, see what they're all about, and then we'll see how far away we might be from a final encounter or not. For now, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.